Nearly seven decades since the virus was discovered here, this forest is suddenly of global interest. Situated about 30 kilometers south of Uganda's capital, Kampala, the natural tropical jungle is reserved for research, and it's here that the first Zika virus case was reported about 70 years ago when scientists were studying mosquitoes. After mosquitoes are collected from the field, they are stored in these huge freezers at very cold temperatures in order to keep the virus alive. They'll only be used when there is need for some research to be carried out. And what's happening here is that the different species of mosquitoes are being identified to find out which mosquitoes can transmit which diseases. And while the Zika virus is causing wide attention thousands of miles away in South America, scientists here say there is no need to panic in Uganda. Why for us we're not that much threatened is that because the mosquito species which we have do not prefer to bite man, so they may not be able to transmit the virus at epidemic proportions. There are two strains of the virus, African and the Asian. Scientists say the Asian strain, which is causing severe birth effects in South America, is more troublesome. There has been a slight change in the genetic makeup of this virus. This genetic makeup has made this virus to multiply much more quickly and in big amounts in the human body. So before, it wasn't that much adapted to the human body and it wasn't multiplying as much. Because of this change, it has led to more multiplication in the human body. And as we know, in the womb, the baby is growing fast. The cells are multiplying faster in the womb because the child is developing. And of course, the virus, when it gets into the womb, it multiplies as the cells of the child are also multiplying and causing problems to the brain of the children. In Uganda, the few cases that occurred before 2007 were mild and passed without any serious infections. Researchers are, however, carrying out further studies. We want to look at the blood of a cross-section of Ugandans to see what percentage, what ratio of people have been exposed to Zika virus before. We can make mosquito collection in those areas to be able to pick the virus if it is there. Then when we get the virus, we shall compare the virus to the original Zika virus to see if there are any changes that have taken place over this period of 70 years, uh, almost, uh, almost 70 years, then also compare it with the, uh, the virus that is causing problems in uh, South America. According to scientists, the Zika virus occurs in areas along the equator. Uganda is among them. Researchers are studying a possible threat that the African strain could become hazardous in future. But rather than a threat, Zika forest remains a quiet jungle rich in flora and fauna. Isabel Nakiria, CCTV, Entebbe, Central Uganda.